the MPDB was uh, basically curated by a whole bunch of people um, Martin Caffrey, uh, Pikai Raman, Vadim Sherzo, and Ora, Orla uh, Slattery. But the MPDB is a very useful resource for anybody uh, doing membrane protein crystallization. For example, if uh, you want to directly look up any of the uh, details for any particular membrane protein, you can just hit it there and hit submit. And um, just like the PDB almost, you can get uh, details of uh, the source organism, uh, expression system, and importantly, uh, things that are directly involved in crystallization, solubilization, and uh, data collection. For example, here I'm informed that one OTS, which is the crystal structure for the um, proton chloride exchange transporter from E. coli, basically used a detergent uh, n decil b 2 d mounted pyranocide, PEG-300, as a precipitant, and uh, it gives you the other information connected to this crystallization experiment. But uh, the great power of the MPDB, of course, uh, is in the compiled statistics for all uh, membrane proteins. And uh, here you can see that we have statistics on every parameter used in uh, these experiments, uh, ranging from crystallization method to detergent to expression system, um, you know, so the lipid use, so on and so forth. Uh, let's just look at the expression system. So we click expression system and hit on submit and I basically get a, a very nice uh, graph generated on the fly which tells me that uh, E. coli still remains the most popular expression system for membrane proteins followed uh, by uh, native which is basically getting at the protein from the organism itself uh, so let's just go back and look at a few more um, interesting uh, statistics and one of them uh, is the detergent used in solubilization or in the actual NMR experiment in case it was NMR and if you look through uh, this gives you a very good list of detergents and uh, the frequency of use and we can see that we can see that octal glucoside uh, is a very commonly used detergent and also get a fair sense of uh, how many of these detergents are uh, used um, and in which structures for example clicking on the number gives me uh, a PDB ID uh, of all those detergents used. So if I do want to screen any particular detergent, I can go and get very precise uh, information on how um, the people who crystallize, say, 1QCR, uh, the cytochrome BC1 complex, used this particular detergent. So clearly you can see that the statistics compiled uh, in um, this uh, database is very, very useful uh, for um, uh, experimental um, setups and so on.